charge it. It's almost a cliché. Money experts say more and more people are not only buying on credit, they're going way over their heads, especially during the holiday season when giving gifts becomes the all-important deed like it did for Pam Ward. A couple years ago, I bought a lot and went overboard and just went hog wild and just bought a lot of things for Christmas. But then Mrs. Ward and her husband separated. She found herself pregnant with only one paycheck to live on. When the bills arrived, the reality of how much she'd spent set in. She discovered she owed thousands. It just got to the point where I knew, you know, what am I going to do now? Because, like, that put me so far behind in my bills, I, there was no way I could even, even try to even keep my head above water. What is it that makes people spend beyond their means? I got possessed, you know, and uh, I would see all these different things in stores and I felt that my friends should have, you know, and I was trying to impress them. Brock Brockenberry's story is no different from millions of others. Spend like there's no tomorrow and suffer the consequences. Every time the phone rang, I was scared to answer the phone for fear that it was a bill collector, you know, even at work or at home. I'd have people say, well, he's not in the office right now, you know, and then they would tell me who it was that called. Difficult. Credit counselor Sharon Newhouse hears stories like these time after time. Aside from the creditors calling and yelling and not knowing where the money's going to come from, the pressure is on. On to pay those bills and pay them now, but there are ways to get out from under. Tomorrow we'll give you some tips on how you can get out of debt and keep out of debt and how you can be the master of these cards. Penny Williams, The Daily News.